Hello everyone, welcome to Mastering Microsoft Graph PowerShell. My name is Daniel and in this first video I'm going to show you how to install the Microsoft Graph PowerShell modules. That way for all the subsequent videos that I put out you'll be well prepared and be able to follow along. So I'm going to start here in this Windows sandbox so it's a nice fresh environment. And I'm going to open the PowerShell integrated scripting environment. This just means any commands that I use in this video I can copy them, paste them into my GitHub and leave a link in the description below so you can do exactly the same as I do. So to install the modules, I'm going to start off with the install hyphen module command. I can then use the name parameter and define the name of the module. So the modules or uh, the module I want to install is just called Microsoft Graph and it's actually a collection of multiple modules. So you can also um, install specific modules under this such as uh, the users module or the groups module or any other module. We'll start by installing them all and then I can show you where to find them and how to check what's actually been installed. Okay before we run this I'm also going to define the scope parameter. So with the scope parameter there's two different options you have all users or you have current users. Now the all users uh, option for the scope parameter will install your uh, modules in the system environment. So install it for all, all users or any users who log on to your device. Um, you do need admin privileges to do this. So pre pretty much always I recommend using the scope parameter unless you're installing it on some server for example. Um, and then define the current user. So to run this we just have to make sure that line is highlighted and then use the run selection button here at the top. So we'll hit run selection and if we see in the window at the bottom, uh, we do immediately get a pop-up. So what the install module does is it will go off to your um, repository, which is the PowerShell gallery, Microsoft PowerShell gallery, and it will attempt to download that file. But to do that, we have a dependency, and that dependency is the NuGet provider. Um, so by default, it's going to ask you to install the NuGet provider. It will need admin privileges to run. So if you haven't already done this, reopen this as an administrator and then run the command. Okay. Um, so we can just hit yes here and it will go off and download that package. And as soon as that's installed, we'll get another pop-up um, for the next steps. Um, and here it is already. So this is just warning us that the PowerShell gallery is an untrusted repository. You can ignore this and you can pretty much just click yes to all. So what's going to happen now is going to start downloading all the modules because as I said, it's a collection of multiple modules, not just a single module. And this might take a few minutes depending on your internet connection and the performance of your device. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to pause the video and come back pretty much instantly uh, once it's done. Okay, so that install is finally complete now. And I've added some extra commands on the screen here just to make it nice and clear. So to install for all users, we can run the same command um, and choose the all users scope on the end here. So we can verify our modules have installed correctly by using the get hyphen installed module command. So if we run get hyphen installed module, then we can see here in the bottom window we have a list of all the modules we've installed. So we can see we have the initial Microsoft.graph and then we have all the sub modules that are under this. So just to show you where this is actually installed to, um, if we open up the file explorer and click on documents, and open this Windows PowerShell folder, then modules, we can see all the modules in here um, as well. So if there's ever an issue with any of these modules and you need to delete them, I highly recommend the simplest solution really is just to find the folder it's installed to, um, which should be in here if you use the current user scope, and then just delete the files. Um, so what, we're gonna, what we can do is let's take the users module and delete that and rerun this get installed module command, we can now see that the users module um, is gone. Okay, so we can also install specific modules if we want. We don't actually have to install the whole suite or software development kit. So to install the mod, uh, users module, we can just run uh, install hyphen module, and we're gonna choose the um, current users scope this time and run this. And if we give this a couple of minutes, it should install a lot far, uh, faster than the previous. And um, we should see that module then reappear. So we'll give that a moment to download. 
it says the package is complete and it's showing us completed. And if we wait just a few more minutes, it'll be done. Okay. Um, so that's done. We'll just verify again with the in get installed module command. So if we click the up arrow, uh, actually, well, no, if we uh, just go up here and highlight get installed module and click run selection, uh, we can see that users module um, is now there again. We can also um, install over the top of our existing installation. So if we have an older version installed and a newer version is released, we can just go back to our previous command and run the hyphen, uh, use the hyphen force parameter, and that will re-download all the files and reinstall it over the top. Without the force parameter, it will simply tell us that it's already been um, installed and you can't install it again. Okay, so now we have all the modules installed, we can go and start using our commands and connect to Microsoft 365. Um, so once you've done this, you'll be prepared for the next videos that we come out um, in our Mastering Microsoft Graph PowerShell series. So if you like this video, make sure you leave a like on the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel to make sure you're notified when the next one is released and I'll see you in the next.